Hey everyone. So we will be finishing up our apple most likely in this video. So we're basically doing the same thing we did over here. You're pressing harder. You're not really seeing as much as the white of the paper showing through. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. The only difference is this has some more lighter tones. So we're not going to be using or depending on the green and the brown as much. So um, like before, I'm going to track down the pure red areas. I'm going to work with my red color pencil. This has the similar effect to what we did over here. It has some white in it, so I'm going to press lightly, and so then the white can go on top. I'm putting in some of the green to darken some key areas. I'm getting splotchy with it because it is pretty splotchy in real life. And in those lighter areas, I'm going to add just a smidge of orange because it is a little warmer in a couple of spots. I'm going light with the orange because I don't want to make a mistake. I'm going light with the red because I want a lighter color than what I see. Again, this is all darker, just splotchier than here. So I'm gonna use the green in this area and just the pure red in that area because there's not really much going on there. I'm lightening it up with a yellow to warm up the red. And I'm blending the edge. Now I'm going to work with the center darker area. Notice it goes up and through the center. I'm going to use a circle method to make it a little more even and stick in a couple of areas to create a splotch effect. I'm using a brown to uh, get out the green a little bit. I'm going to work in this area. It's dark as well, just not as dark as over here. Here it's splotchy, just like it was on the left. So I'm going to just start with the dark area or the, excuse me, the light area down here. And I'm just going to splotch in the red. This is still a little too intense, so I'm just going to lightly fill in the white areas with the red. It's a little warmer up in here, so I'm just going to add a smidge of yellow. 
And then I'm just going to add a little bit of light red and white to finish off this highlight. I'm pressing very, very hard with my white to blend out the lines in the red layer. I'm going to add white in here, same process. The stem has a little bit of yellow in the bottom and the top, so I'm going to start with a yellow undertone. Do the dark brown and press heavy in the dark area. Lighten up with the yellow. It's really, really yellow and it needs to be a little warmer, so I have like a red brown. If you don't have that, that's okay. I'm just going to layer that red brown in there to de-yellify it. Take that red brown to be the mid-tone or the, you know, middle value. And there you have your apple. You can choose to do the green leaf by yourself. I would like you to do the green leaf by yourself. Um, my only hints to you is you want like a yellowy green, you want a standard green, and you want a yellow and a white. You might like the red to darken things as well. So try those colors, do the leaf on your own, and you should be ready and comfortable to color.